who is the founder of one of four rights of Sunni Islam. The dome is beautiful, as you can see. It is almost like a record of all the styles of Islamic art that Egypt went through. That is also important, as we said, for religious reasons, and it continues to be very important to all Egyptians and people from all over the Islamic world. We came here uh, at actually the request of the community and of the ministry, uh, because there were, there were structural problems with the dome. And we uh, came to AFCP, the Ambassador's Fund for Cultural Preservation, and we asked for uh, support. And uh, over seven years, we did the conservation of the dome. Uh, the dome was opened, it was inaugurated two years ago. But we are here now to celebrate a second phase, again with generous funding from the US and the, uh, Embassy. And this phase focused on what we found under the dome. So just to uh, give you an idea about the kind of work that we did, uh, when we came, there were serious structural problems in the masonry on the walls. There was subsidence in the floors, and all of these uh, beautiful paintings were overpainted and they were very uh, poor, in a very poor condition. And of course, the exterior was all there was a problem. To try and fix the problem that there were remains of an older dome under the current. Dome. So the, the older dome was from the 12th century, and we actually the, one of the reasons for the subsidence was the fact that when they were demolishing the smaller dome to build the bigger one. They, it seems that the dome collapsed and so they left the big chunks of masonry as they were in the location where we're standing today. So we found these big pieces of masonry, we found remains of the columns, we also found over a thousand decorated stucco pieces and from these we could piece together the history of an older dome that nobody knew existed. So when we were done with the conservation work, we were faced with a dilemma. What to do with all of this knowledge and what to do with all of this, these pieces that we had found? Because they made no sense unless they were here. So um, we talked to the Ministry of Tourism and Antiquities again and the Ministry of Endowments and they very generously allowed us to take part of the building behind and convert it into a business center, the first of its kind in historic Cairo, that tells the story of the dome, El Imam Shafi, the conservation work in the excavations and also the cemetery as a whole, which as you have seen as you walked and you drove through is a very beautiful place. So this is just a general introduction to this place. And then we'll go to the business center where we'll focus on uh, the current uh, project. We're going to hear some very, pictures. Very, very We're going to hear some pictures of the old work, and we will just this one yeah. right wow. And at the same time, during excavations, we found hundreds of fragments pieces. You can see them there in the showcase. It looks really, look really great. Uh, it's a little bit Actually, it's really one point or million the cost of the of the work. And both a Fulbright fellow and an UICID fellow. And we're so pleased that it is here on such an occasion. Madam Ambassador. long-standing relationship with the Egyptian Ministry for Tourism and Antiquities, as well as our partnership with the Gawra, demonstrates the United States government's enduring commitment to helping Egypt
Egypt in its effort to protect its rich cultural heritage. This magnificent heritage is an example of the important role that cultural heritage plays in Egypt's... It's uh, very unique in the large cities of the, of the world that it offers this unique heritage of 5,000 years of history. No matter where you walk, you walk on the west side of the Nile, you crumble upon monuments that are 5,000 years old, you actually watch the uh, longest standing uh, building, man-made building for 3,800 years, the large pyramid of Khufu, and you know, you just put yourself in a car and you ride to the east side of Cairo and you find yourself walking through streets like this. It's, uh, you know, I, I don't think that there is any other city in this whole world actually that can offer this. And, I'm, and this is why I'm quite fond of living in this city. I've been living here for all my life, with the exception of the two years I spent in the US actually. Uh, I welcome you to um, the great city of Cairo. And um, uh, let me please just uh, start my speech in my preferred language, Arabic. So, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Dr. Abayel Ibrashi, Muasis Maktab Mugawr al-Amran, Mubadarat al-Athar Lana. Your Excellency Ambassador Beth Jones, U.S. Charged Affair, I would like to welcome you to Egypt and wish you the best of luck on your new post. Mr. Rafiq Mansour, the U.S. Department of State Deputy Assistant Secretary for Education and Cultural Affairs, Al Khadur Al Kareem. Saeed, with your good evening, in the opening of the Mercedes Zawar, the Imam Shafi, which represents the continuation of the cooperation between the Ministry of Education and the United States of America, and the Maktab Mujawra for the Umrah, which is a result of our efforts. ممكن تساعدوني نسقف للدكتورة ماي شوية بس وقتهم